I fully believe the OLG knew damn well I was the rightful winner of that prize, that I was the rightful ticket holder, and yet, look at this, they made us go through what I think was a completely unnecessary court procedure. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto. Well, folks, I have very good news to report. I have achieved victory against the Ontario Lottery and Gaming Corporation, a.k.a. OLG, here at Toronto Small Claims Court. Now, by way of background, I should mention that the OLG is perhaps the most corrupt crown corporation in, well, the history of crown corporations. Don't take my word for it, folks. Check out a report entitled A Game of Trust. That was a report authored by Andre Marin, who was the ombudsman for the province of Ontario back in 2007, and it chronicled all kinds of corruption within the OLG, such as denying valid prize claims, such as turning a blind eye to insider wins, it was an absolute mess. There was a bit of a house cleaning, but not as much as should have been done. When I deal with the OLG these days, I'm sorry to report, but it appears to be business as usual. I purchased a modest lottery winning ticket uh, last summer. It was a pick three ticket, and I won $2,145. Now that's hardly a life-changing amount, but a nice chunk of cash nevertheless. The only problem is when I go to claim a winning lottery ticket, the OLG routinely denies it. Now a retailer can pay out a winning lottery ticket up to $1,000, but if it's over $1,000, you have to go to the OLG Prize Centre in downtown Toronto. And that's precisely what I did and I filled out in its entirety two pages of paperwork. I provided government photo ID. I had the winning lottery ticket with my signature on it and what's more I paid for this lottery ticket with my credit card. It's hard to imagine there's anything suspicious about this transaction but once again the OLG told me folks that it had questions whether I was the rightful owner of this ticket. It was unbelievable. I had to threaten or go ahead with a small claims action and that's precisely what I did. Now you have to wonder why would they do this? Well my theory is this. I've been covering the OLG for more than 25 years. I've been exposing hypocrisy and corruption within the OLG, and they simply have a vendetta against me. Even though they have no case, they will make me go through the hoops and take all the time that is necessary to go through the court system to win what is rightfully mine. And let me throw to a video. This is me last summer when I had an appointment with the OLG to get my winnings. It was a fool's errand, of course. And despite that, was I given a check? No, I was frog marched out of the prize center by security. Check it out. But just to let you know, yes. these guys have a file on me and they are not giving me my rightful winnings because of the reports I file on them. Okay. I think this is scandalous. Okay. And basically what I have to do is go to small claims court in order to get my winnings, which is an added $100 for me to file the claim. But this is the racket they're running here. Okay. You know, I know you're a good guy. Yeah. I like you. Yeah. I've met you before here yes, at the sir. HM. Yes, sir. You're a good guy. These guys, this is, yeah. this, this is a criminal racket. Okay. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Mother tells me that every day. <laughs> really? Why did she say that? Because you're running, a, you're working for a crown corporation that denies rightful day, winners. Yeah, their have money. a good day. I asked you to leave. Have a yeah, good I'm, day. I'm leaving. I'm there leaving. you go. Wow, that treatment I endured at the hands of those security guards. Quite a contrast to how the lottery monopolists sell their lottery tickets, eh? I mean, hey, check out this ad for Lotto Max. Terry, I love this dream, but as a professional dream coach, I think you can dream bigger. Um, okay, I'll make this my own private beat. 
out of boot. Uh, I'm named after my dog. <gasps> Lotto Max withdraws Tuesdays and Fridays. In any event, I know my beloved boss, Ezra Levant. He rightfully hates what he calls homemade lawyering. Uh, he believes that you really should get a good lawyer to fight any case. But that's the thing, folks. This was so slam dunk. This was so can't miss. I didn't need a lawyer, and obviously the judge agreed. And so it was that I did indeed pay the $100 fee to file my small claims court, and I went up against the OLG's high price Bay Street lawyer. That would be Carlos Sayo, he, him. Now, here's the thing. Because of the non-disclosure agreement, folks, I am forbidden to mention what happened in the courtroom, and I also cannot say the dollar amount of what I was awarded. Let's put it this way. Uh, it covers off my winning lottery prize, my court fees, and uh, I'll be able to buy another pick three lottery ticket. Actually, quite a few pick three lottery tickets, if you catch my drift. What is concerning is that it never should have gotten to this point in the first place. I fully believe the OLG knew damn well I was the rightful winner of that prize, that I was the rightful ticket holder, and yet, look at this, they made us go through what I think was a completely unnecessary court procedure. Now folks, maybe you don't care about my lottery prize winning problems, maybe you don't care about the OLG whatsoever, but here's why you should care, at least if you are an Ontario resident, you have skin in the game. Lawyers like Carlos Ayo, he, him, they don't come cheap. And I would bet the ranch folks that whatever the OLG paid Mr. Sayoa, he, him, it was far more than what I was awarded in terms of my monetary settlement. But here's the thing. The OLG is a crown corporation. Taxpayers in Ontario, well, you're the shareholders. You're paying for this, paying an unnecessary expense for something that should have been settled in the prize office last summer. And to think that the OLG justifies its lottery monopoly based on the mantra of social responsibility. I mean, the very idea of this organization being socially responsible, well, the odds against that would make even the most reckless gambler cringe. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Folks, I know you love it when Rebel News tells you the other side of the story, but we need your help. If you can, please go to rebelfieldreports.com. That's rebelfieldreports.com. And if you're able to, kindly make a donation. Thanks so much.